Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with Vigar Mid. The magic! It calls to me! Lane matchups for this game are as follows. We have Alistar partner with Vayne Bot against Gangplank and Caitlyn. I'm Vigar Mid against Katarina. We have Renekton Top against Trindamir. And we have Pantheon Renekton Jungle against Nocturne. It's only a short way. And Pantheon short seems joke. to be going blue buff. So, we... I don't think any of these guys cost 6,300. Maybe Nocturne still does, but... It's kinda nice to see a group with somewhat older champions, I guess. But let's talk about Vigar. Your passive is Equilibrium. It's basically the Chalice passive. As your mana goes down, your mana regeneration goes up. Your Q is Baleful Strike. Whenever you score a last hit with this, you gain one ability power. If it's against a champion, large minion, large monster, large minion of course being a siege minion, you get 2 AP. Passive effect is whenever you get a kill, you get a number of AP equal to the rank of the move. W is dark matter, you summon a meteor to fall from the sky after a moment, Minions does a ton of fallen. damage, 1 to 1 AP scaling I believe. E is event horizon, this is your stun, scales up with rank, that's going to be the way I can survive Cat's ult. And your ult is Primordial Burst. You deal damage based off your AP and your opponent's AP. Yes! <laughs> okay, we're starting with Q. And hopefully Pantheon can get by. So I kind of have to watch out for her early poke, like that, and I couldn't pull it away from the minions. She went for boots for pots, that's fine, I'm not going to try to kill her just yet. My goal is just last hits. And lag. I'm going to grab my stun. I doubt she's really going to try to go all in at level 2, but if she does, I'm prepared. If you're going to Q me, it's not going to hit anything. Stalking prey again? No, not enough yet. Suffering away. Pantheon wanted, she's not exactly a hard gank at the moment. He has a stun, I have a stun. Your commands tire me. her night. I don't have enough for all of them, so I'm gonna grab a pair of fairy charms. It's not going to help me with the poke, but I'm gonna be able to sustain and start spamming my spells a little bit. He's not even getting the last hits. Yes. <laughs> the magic. 
Hit those cats. First blood. Suffering you. Stocking prey again. And now the lion is finally starting to push back my way. And if Cat wants to help it, I'm more than happy to oblige. Since Nocturne ganked from over there, odds are that is warded. Starting to run out of mana. Just gotta make sure I get these last hits. The magic! It calls to me! Okay, I missed that one. And let's go back. So she went for a Negatron. She's gonna start with an Abyssal Scepter, I'm guessing. Suffering your way! And she is level 6 now, so I need to save my stun to escape her. Once I have a little bit more CDR, I can start using my Q to poke, but for the meantime, I've only gotten 18 AP out of it. I smell death. Let's hit that with the Q so that I can get even more AP out of it. She's still there. It's only a short Let's way. Let's go ahead and pop a health pot. Is that a joke? Couldn't pull it out. And I missed. 
Okay, now I can actually start building some AP. And we'll start turning th things around. Not going to grab boots just yet. That'll be for the next back. But in the meantime, she's sitting at 67. And she's roaming down here for nothing in the end. She has no AP for me to actually ricochet this off of. This... 270-ish? I may be able to kill... Oh, she's fully healed now. my blue buff back. Is he on Pantheon? No. Looks like we had the same idea. Not a vengeful whoever the hell Nocturne is. An ally has been it's only a short way! Is that a short joke? Killing spy. It's not going to work like I want it. Yes! An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Chopping that as I fall back. She has her abyssal now, so I actually can start sending some... AP back at her. Imagine, it calls to me. Ping is going back down, and let's see. It's about 300. This is 400 ish. If I manage to land that, it's an extra 250. I almost have my Q maxed. Just like that. Okay, she is now in kill range. It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? This one's about to time out, so that'll work.
Double You're dead now, turn. Killing spree. Pod, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Suffering awaits. She has another amp tome. Alright, that's her first one. That's not part of the abyssal. So she's going for a haunting guys. Gonna mark that she's missing. Stocking prey again. And that took too long. Where's her ult? say the least. <laughs> yes. Vain <laughs> waste no time roaming salt in the burn. I smell death. And she's gonna be back in time. Hopefully they'll think I warded over there or something and go searching for it. And we'll just drop the dark one here. Eh, refreshed. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been prey again? Bye-bye, blue buff. Yes. <laughs> Ooh! Good reflexes on her part. change gears and go to the W. Has 
enslaved. Yeah, that Trindamir is probably going to be the problem. He's now up to three. The magic! It comes to me! I almost have enough for my needlessly large rod. What is Cat? She actually has her guys now. big deal about not getting the blue buff. If you know how I play, I play under the assumption that I'm never going to get it. So we're still good to go. That's almost 700, I believe. Stocking prey again? I need to poke her down a bit more. But he got the message, death was waiting in the river. They might surrender. Yes! <laughs> and we need to pick up some items now, such as a needlessly large rod. thoughts and observations in the description. I'm the hero of Thanks for watching and goodbye.